All right, guys, a billion dollar plan to save New York. I didn't know New York was down bad, but apparently they are, right, guys? Uh, I don't know. YouTube titles aren't the most reliable thing. Yeah, let's check it out. It's no secret that New York City isn't exactly safe from the effects of climate change. It's a relatively small island packed with hundreds of thousands of buildings, millions They said hundreds of thousands? Snap. Millions of people and seemingly endless feats of engineering. Really classified as an island though? I thought Rhode Island was an island, not New York, guys. Apparently it is. During heavy rainfall, Whoa. subway stations and streets no frequently fill with water. Evidence that the city's infrastructure isn't prepared for what's to come. Yo, that's scary. And, and the, get, the train was still working. What the? Get worse. And this... That's old footage, guys. Is it always like that? It might always be like that, guys. Tiny tip of Manhattan is particularly vulnerable. Now, officials are racing to come up with solutions for the future. Yeah, I'm kind of scared when we're, like, next to bodies of water, but that's most of it. We're always next to bodies and water, uh, bodies of water. You know what I mean, guys? Their latest idea? A multi-million dollar project that consists of building a seawall, flood barriers, and elevating an entire... And I thought, uh, okay. This isn't clickbait, so I apologize. I thought it was going to be something about like how New York's like businesses are failing or something. Which I'm sure there are some, but... Park in Lower yeah. Manhattan. But to save the neighborhoods, some of it first has to be destroyed. What? No, don't do that. Take a walk down the west side of Manhattan and you'll eventually pass through Battery Park City. Battery Park City, interesting name. A lush 92 acre community on the southernmost tip of the island. Once home to the Docklands, this area was officially established in the 1960s through land reclamation. Okay, okay. A modest re modest uh, humble beginnings, right guys? By using the excavation material from the World Trade Center construction site being built at the time, workers extended the shoreline. Oh, that looks cool, guys. Why is there like a covering right there? Into the Hudson River. Today, Bath There's some yachts on there as well. Check out our video we watched on yachts. Battery Park is considered a successful urban renewal project with ample green space, residential buildings, and restaurants. But while the neighborhood has exploded in popularity, the future isn't as hopeful. What? In 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit New York, causing an unprecedented amount of flooding. I don't even really remember that, man. I, I had already graduated high school at that point. Across the entire... And I was just doing uh, drugs all the time. Particularly weed during that point. A city. Lower Manhattan remains eerily dark and partially underwater. Homes and nah, bro. critical infrastructure were left destroyed. Okay, but that was so long ago. But still a scary thing to happen. Look at all those cars underwater, man. And millions went without power for decades. Millions? Eight. Oh my gosh. In the end, the city was left with about $19 billion. In I'm actually a fan of rain, but not that much rain. Right, guys? That's catastrophic amounts of rain. Damage. Lower Manhattan saw some of the worst devastation and flooding, including parts of Battery Park City. Oh my but gosh. But this won't be the last of it. That's As too the much. effects of climate change threaten to generate more intense storms and flooding. Yeah, I thought it was a nice time to just go outside. The city's infrastructure. Nowadays, there'd be some interesting TikToks uh, related to this rain, right, guys? From the Hurricane Hillary that happened, there are people on rafts and stuff, jet skis is not exactly prepared for what's to come. According to the National Ocean Service, sea levels are set to rise roughly a foot or a quarter of a metre by 2050. Snap, that's not good. During future storms, water could rise to roughly five to seven metres in the Battery Park area. Dang bro, imagine all the electronics being destroyed and stuff, guys. While it may not be noticeable day to day, if we want to combat climate change, it's vital that we build our infrastructure in ways to... Look at that hail, man. Oh my gosh, that would probably hurt. Protect our city. Literally, it's literally like an ice maker, man. The world is an ice maker at that point. Seawalls, trees, and even floating cities are just some of the ideas that... Oh, floating cities? Oh my gosh, that'd be cool. That totally would uh, help us right there. Engineers around the world are coming up with. Here in Battery Park City, there's at least a $220 million plan on the table. 
That'll protect key areas on the tip of Manhattan, including Wagner Park. Uh, the fact that he said floating city, man. 3.5 acres of green space along the waterfront. The park is going to be demolished and raised from just three meters above sea level. Hey, renovations are always good. All to six. It does take a while for this stuff to go through, though. At the center of the whole project is this massive new flood wall. Parts of it are going to be buried under the park, while other sections are going to be exposed or topped, under the park. topped with glass. Unlike a traditional sea wall that would divide the air. Nice. Is this good a design right here? <laughs> There's even a dude fishing right there. That is cool. Oh my gosh. Area, the is, it, is this salt water over there? I can't. I don't even remember. Wall will allow visitors to access. So it's not like a beach. I don't know why. Space. The exposed section will feature flip-up gates that will lie flat when not in use, and it'll expand to the north towards. Okay, bro. I'm I'm super excited for the future, but it is taking forever for the future to come, right, guys? Tribeca with an additional flood barrier system spanning along the waterfront. The project also includes enhanced drainage with the installation of isolation valves and a tide gate. Over at Pier A Plaza, the area's lowest point, a bi-level landscaped area with tiered seating is going to act as a barrier to incoming waters. Yeah, bro, okay, okay. Wood seating will allow it to remain submerged for longer periods of time. Workers nice, nice. will also plant trees and build... I mean, the trees would drink the water, right, guys? In theory. Structures so that, that's a good way to deter... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'll all help protect the neighborhoods and the surrounding areas from rising sea levels, storm surges, and flooding, specifically during rare. I, I want to hear about this floating city, though. At 100 floating storm buildings. Events. That could save the city lives, money, and property. Everybody looks so busy, guys. Can't believe the average rent is like $4,000, bro. That's so much. In the next storm. It all sounds promising, but not everyone's on board with the idea. What? Come on now. Especially... Why is everything met with a resistance, bro? It's like the force of physics for some reason, right guys? Down at Wagner Park. Local advocates have pushed back against these changes for years because they'll reduce green space by 10%. And green space is not exactly widespread in New York City. Dang. In response, authorities have made several changes to the plans, but to many... Interesting, interesting. ...it's still not enough. And they... It's a cool infographic, guys. I, I like how it looks. I'm just, I'm just nervous, man. They're building a high walking structure, but hey. Propose alternatives that like a larger flood wall and flood proofing existing structures. Right, Still, officials say the elevation is vital for protecting against future storms that could very well threaten to destroy the park. Nobody wants that, man. In a city of over 8 million people. Jeez, bro. Guys, I have like 180. We have like 180th of the population where I live, guys, of just that one city. Well, it's perhaps no surprise that so many want to have a voice on future. It's like one of the only cities with actual cabs as well. To changes. Especially we just got Uber. Especially when the impact of climate change is now really making itself felt. Saving Battery Park is just one part of a larger plan to fight. I wonder who named it Battery Park, though. Climate change across this. Look at that beautiful city, though, man. City. Eventually, these projects will connect as part of the Lower Manhattan Coastal Resiliency Project along the East River waterfront. This includes more flood barriers and the reconstruction of East River Park. As sea levels continue to rise and as flooding gets more intense, it's important for authorities to get plans like this right. Guys, do you think this is a good idea? Let me know in the comments below. The first time, or risk causing irreversible damage to their cities. You can learn more about New York's flood defense plans and other topics on our channel over on the World's Best Construction Podcast. Check them out, I'll leave a link in the description, guys. It's available right now wherever you get your podcasts. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, said wherever I get my podcast, I'm not, not the biggest podcast person. Construction is headed, make sure you're subscribed to tomorrow's build. Yeah, guys, that's a video. They got tomorrow's build in the description. Wish more people in the U.S. were interested in infrastructure? I know, right?
Well, thanks to this channel, we might be. I mean, look, you know what I mean? For voting purposes. Can't think of what the Dutch would have done here. Hey, okay, Vegas is doing some good infrastructure things. Big sad about the video being only six minutes long. Can never get a month. Uh, can never get enough of tomorrow's build. As someone who grew up in Venice, the moment I heard about the moving water walls, I started laughing. Good luck with the maintenance. Oh my gosh. Hey, we're all going towards good things, right, guys? We're all gonna make it, fam. Thank you for watching. Check out. To uh, I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi. You're more than welcome, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.